at least my audio quality is better now. So that's right, guys. I thought I'd be able to hold out longer. Uh, you know, this experiment's maybe about two months old already. Uh, and already, uh, shutting it down, turning it off. Um, circumstances were just uh, untenable. I'm not able to uh, continue like this. It's, uh, it's not working out. Uh, there are just too many problems it's presenting. Um, and yeah, I got egg on my face. I'm eating crow pie on this one. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'd like to say I gave it the college try, but I, know I didn't really go to college. One semester at college. Uh, I gave it the high school, I gave it the middle school try. So, so what's going on technicals? What, what's, what's the reason? I mean, why are you jerking us around? What, why are you teasing us in this way? So I'm just gonna come out uh, flat out and tell you that uh, this isn't working uh, because summer's coming and I gotta, I gotta increase the supply. I gotta get more amps, baby, that's right. Sorry for the clickbait. So I got all the machines off because I got an electrician coming because while I know how to wire up outlets and do all that kind of stuff, uh, put in, you know, you know, plugs and things. My concern is with my panel uh, because when they put this in, crypto wasn't on my radar. I didn't, I didn't care about it or anything, but I was like, hey, 200 amps. So I was putting in breakers. I was putting in 30 amp circuits, 20 amp circuits, etc. My concern is now I'm pulling this constant load, this continuous load on the panel at all times. Uh, my concern is load balancing. And I've heard before that this may not apply in uh, residential situations, uh, especially for single phase but I don't know that for sure. I can rig up outlets all day. I can do that kind of simple math, but when it comes to doing load calculations, your mom knows what a load calculation is. 40 year old man makes your mom jokes still. More tonight at 11. Uh, that's where my expertise gets a little foggy and we're dealing with you know high voltages here, high amperage. Uh, I wanna have a pro come in and do it. So while they're here, I'm gonna go, have, go ahead and have them run the outlets. Uh, you know, if there is, assuming there's no problems, run the outlets for what I'm doing to fix the situation, get ahead of the problem because summer's coming, it's already hot in here. It's like 30 degrees outside, it's like 75 in here. Just from these three amp miners, it's really just these three amp miners, the S21 and the two S19J Pros. This whole warehouse is, or my detached building, is huge, it's uninsulated, and I keep the fan circulating and still, and still the temperatures get that high. So I know that when summer comes, I'm gonna be dealing with some problems. I'm trying to get ahead of it now. I'm trying to move quickly. I'm gonna have the electrician come in and I'm going to repurpose this corner of my shed uh, into being a mining shed. It's a mining shed within a shed, it's shedception. So my plan is to utilize this corner uh, for the mining operation. So I've got the north face of the building here, which north face, I'm in the Northern hemisphere, should have the lowest temperatures or the least amount of sun. So I know that's not gonna make too much of a difference when it comes to the air temperature, but every little bit helps, right? So I'm gonna isolate and mark this wall to put in my cold air intakes. Still looking on sourcing that. I'll have a wall here, and then I'm just going to repurpose this cobalt rack that I got from Lowe's, which the miners are currently on, as sort of the back wall. That allows me to remain modular in case I wanna move things around, something's not working out, I can change the orientation and not be encumbered by a rigid structure in the back. That way I can fill in the gaps with a foam board, an insulation board, something that's rigid and heavy. I can cover it in duct tape to make it to where pieces won't flake off and I can fill in the gaps, put in a drop ceiling, have a door, and it should be mostly sealed and I can mitigate the, the creep in, the, the seeping in air with things like silicone and, and expanding foam and things like that, depending on how hardcore I wanna get with it. The point being is that the rack is really the modular section of where the miners are gonna go. They push all the air out and it goes and exhausts into the building structure itself. Now, yes, the building will get hot. It's already hot, but it's uninsulated so it's not trapping it in as much. Ideally, it should radiate it out. I can put in exhaust fan uh, solutions in case it gets you know, just unbearable. I also have a garage door here that I can open and kind of dump it all out. Point being is that the air coming in to this room and feeding the miners is coming from outside and not from the structure itself. This isn't my first rodeo with trying to deal with heat because it's one of the biggest issues that miners face. I'm sure you know that. And with my previous farm, 
I went through several different iterations of trying to mitigate the heat and get rid of it and things like that. I'll put some video here. When I first started out, I had everything on wire racks, GPUs suspended uh, from the wire racks, motherboards below. Everything was just sort of marinating in its own air, its own heat, recirculating it. I was always having issues with uh, keeping temperatures down. From there, we decided to enclose the room that all the miners were in, but add some exhaust fans, some really high CFM ventilator fans, and pump all the heat outside. Now, this kind of worked uh, a little bit, uh, but it was really just kind of reducing the overall average of the temperature within that room. The cards were still marinating in that air. It was, there was no real flow, no laminar flow to the air. I had some intakes, uh, but it was really hard to establish that when you have this tiny, relatively tiny ventilator fan, just trying to pull the air out and the air inside just kind of swirling around. Then we finally went to the last iteration before I got rid of the farm was everything in server racks, everything in server cases, exhausting all the air out of the back of those, 42, those 42U racks, everything going out the back of those server cases. And then we enclosed that space, a small space, uh, to try to isolate all that heat and we kept the ventilator fans inside trying to pump the heat out. Now this worked the best but there were still heat issues. But in all three of these circumstances my goal was to try to get rid of the heat. So the heat is the bad thing, I want to get rid of it. So this time around I'm more focused on the intake than I am the exhaust. And I know it takes both, but this time around, I'm looking at industrial operations and seeing how I can apply that theory to what I'm doing here or I'm trying to do here. It seems like they focus, yes, on intake and exhaust, but it's really more so about isolating the heat to where it can't get back and free feed into the miners and then having a fresh air system to allow new air to come in, just outside ambient air that's ideally filtered in some way uh, to pass through the miners. So I'm trying to take lessons from what I did previously with my farm at the warehouse and uh, learn from that and apply that into this new build. All right, so we're back online. Got the fresh outlets in. Now, I only put the one extra 30 amp, but I've got some room here. I can run another conduit and put in another 30 amp because one of my rules that I'm self-imposing uh, is I got to keep it under 100 amps. That's I'm not going over 100 amps because I don't want this to get out of control. 100 amps is plenty, uh, and if I want to buy it, get new stuff, I got to replace it with better stuff or something like that. So this is what I'm rolling with right now. I will probably put in uh, 20 amp, 120 volt, just for devices that don't run on 220, or just for the the convenience for the plug factor. Uh, if there's stuff you know that's like on a DC power supply or something like that, I'll probably want to run one of those in here. But I can do that after the fact. So. Once we got all that in place, we went ahead, put our ant miners, our Bitcoin miners back online, just because those are the heavy hitters, this was making money. Uh, so we're gonna leave these here for now, and then we're gonna set off, hopefully within the next few days, we can break ground and start building out the walls. I'll probably save the intakes for last, uh, because it's still kind of cold outside. I'm not too concerned about getting that fresh air in right now. Uh, I just wanna get the walls up, get the drywall in, get it sealed, and that way, when I do 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 go to put in the intakes, I've got everything else in place. And so if you want to follow me along on this process, building my shed within a shed, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to let me know in the comments below before I break ground on this, uh, what you would do if there's any tips or pointers or theorems that uh, you think would apply great in this situation because I'm anxious to get all the data that I can so I do this the right way in a sustainable way that's, you know, where I'm not having to redo stuff and go back and backtrack and do double work on things. So let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to follow the process. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.